Where's Paul? Hi. Okay, wait. Nope. A. You. No. Hello. <laughs> hey, what's the crack? What's the crack? Um, yes. fucking nothing. What's the crack? It's good to meet you. Good to meet you. Wait, are you frozen? Is that just me? Okay, wait, you're back. Hi. I'm back. That was my dad calling me. Um, oh, that's awesome. It's good to meet you. <laughs> good to meet you. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Um, fucking sunny Los Angeles. How is yeah. where you are? It's, I don't really do well in the heat. And as you can see, I'm like quite burnt and a bit sweaty and a bit red. So yeah, I'm in London. Yeah, that was my thought. I was just like, wow, he looks super gross. You know, yeah. that's <laughs> the first thing. <laughs> so my mind is like, oh my god. This is what this is my fan. Sunburn. Henry. This is Henry. Wait, what's the name? Henry. Henry. Well, this yeah. is Nick Cave. Okay. Me. And Dead Plants. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm gonna ask you questions now. Okay. Um. Okay. This is my first interview. I think I just realized. I feel like I should be interviewing you. So I obviously like, I think it's well documented that I love your music, but uh, yeah. Oh, um, well, that makes me blush. Um, okay. Worst and best fan interaction since the series. Worst. W worst was... Uh... critical error of like running down the canal it was too hot and I took my top off and somebody nearly came over the top of their bike because they were screaming and I would have felt very guilty if they had themselves um best pretty cool getting a shout out by Richard E. Grant on multiple occasions that's sick that's pretty cool that's awesome yeah are you enjoying it for the most part like do you think that it's yeah, like, mostly in, like, the positive direction. Yeah, totally. Like, there's been actually no, like, people being, like, nasty or, like, overly intrusive. And th there's also the good, like, excuse to, like, avoid photographs because of social distancing laws. So you can't. But I've had to take selfies with people, like, standing, like, at a great distance back from them and kind of crouching into the brain. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, me too. Me too. I'm so fucking famous. Like, people just constantly <laughs> are, like, trying to take photos with me. It's such an issue. Um, uh, okay, I have a question for you. Uh, yeah. What's the first song you learned to play? Like, first cover song? Oh, that's really basic and white of me, but probably Nine Crimes by Damien Rice. Yeah. Sweet. That's not basic. Damien Rice. Well, it's like three chords. And very sad. Yeah, fuck off. Mine was probably Wonderwall. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, most embarrassing thing that happened on set. Um, most embarrassing thing that happened on set. It's, de oh, it's a story I've told before, but basically on the first Friday of the first, so the first week, on the fir first Friday, really convoluted way of saying this, but me and Daisy had to do a day of like sex scenes. Mm -hmm. And we were covered in this like, um, it was called Egyptian Magic is the, the branding title. And it, it, it's basically fake as well. And we were covered in it and we had to like switch positions and our bodies were in close contact and we separated and made like a really loud fart noise. But that's like the embarrassing part of it is that obviously me and Daisy like, started hysterically laughing. But the crew and Lenny and everybody thought that one of us had fired and were really trying to preserve our dignity. So they were kind of like, okay, we're gonna just go again. So yeah, <laughs> that was pretty embarrassing. Damn, that's incredible. I like that. Yeah, that must have been a bonding moment too. Totally. It's like once you kind of fake fart in front of the other person, it's like, oh good. Totally, totally. Yeah. 
Um, okay. These are stupid. Uh, <laughs> um, if you could be any musician, who would it be? Would it be Damien Rice? Yeah, I love how sad Damien Rice is. Mm -hmm. You know, he's kind yeah. of a, like, I'd say even if Damien Rice was like really, really happy, he'd still write sad music and I kind of respect that. Totally, me too. Yeah. yeah. You're kind yeah, of like that, No, yeah, it's impossible to write happy music. <laughs> Literally impossible. Um, if you could be any other actor, who would it be? It depends on the content. So, like, Michael Shannon, in terms of, like, his artistic choices, is, artistic choices is, uh, <laughs> is pretty good. Brad Pitt, just because I think, like, he has such a, like, cool career and has an amazing, like, filmography. But yeah, those two. I'm, I'm mixed between both of those. That sounds... I would see that movie with a mix of both of those. Yeah. Um, okay. Have you ever been physically attacked for wearing double denim, like a Canadian tuxedo? Uh, funnily enough, I have been attacked <laughs> for wearing. Uh, it's a bit where I I'm from Maynooth, and uh, it would have been very fashion forward, but I can't remember. Basically, I cracked this tooth. I, you can't see it on that, but I can't see it. Still cracked. But I was. It was after a night out, and somebody took a dislike to the fact that I was wearing double denim and I stood up for my very fashion forward. It was an awful combination. It was like stonewashed jeans and a stonewashed denim jacket. And I deserved a punch for that in hindsight. That sounds great. But, yeah, I, I did get punched in the face. That was me. It was actually me in disguise. <laughs> That's what I meant to tell you. Okay, so we're going to do something uh, that I think needs to happen on the internet, um, which is the website Wikifeet, which is a foot fetish website. They actually sell t-shirts, which is amazing. But I made a, uh, I made a Wikifeet men account so that I can edit your account because I noticed something about your account, which is like, there's really not that much info. I don't know if you can see, but. Um, I didn't know anything that existed, to be honest. Yeah, well, it exists. And there's tons of pictures of your feet, mostly from the show, though. Like, mine is kind of disturbing because it's like, deep deep instagram actually my friend ethan uh and i used to wear like birkenstocks sandals at the studio and and there's a picture of our feet together but his feet are blurred out on yeah. my tv profile which is amazing um okay so it says shoe size not set what's your u.s shoe size see what's what's u.s shoe size fuck i don't know um we can find this out probably what's your uh, i'm 10 so like you're a 10 US? No, 10, 10, U, 10 UK. UK to US shoe size. Um, okay, so it says, it says US. Oh, weird. Oh, they're not that different. It's like a half size bigger in the UK. So that's make you. Oh, wait a half size smaller in the UK. So that makes you a 10 and a half US. I'm glad we cleared that up. Excuse me. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> My phone fell. Okay. Um, 10 and a half US. Yeah. Uh, okay. And then nationality. Um, Irish. Irish. All right. Everybody go rate Paul's feed on... Um, Wikipedia doesn't have very many yet. Yeah. Okay, Irish. And then birthday. When's your birthday? Aquarius. Aqu Wait. It's no, on. Like it's the second, second of the second 96. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, all right. That's, uh, that's my questions. Can I talk about your album now? <laughs> sure. So you very kindly let me listen to it. And for anybody listening to me now which there is seven and a half thousand it's amazing it's so good what is your favorite song on the album um <laughs> uh thank you first off um You're welcome. 
Uh, I I think I like the last song on the record a lot. I was gonna say that. I like, think. Yeah. Can we talk about the end of that song? Can I say what? Like, no. Can yeah, I say sure. that you basically just breathe into the microphone for about twenty seconds? <laughs> yeah. It, but like, was when you went to record that? Was that how you anticipated it was going to sound? Kind of. It's supposed to be like a fake uh, men's health with the title. It's called "I Know the End," <laughs> um, but it's supposed to be like a fake crowd noise, like. <sighs> yeah. Um, and we thought it was funny, so we kept it in. Um, but yeah, it's kind of embarrassing. You can like hear my esophagus and stuff. So I I'm think glad it's really you like cool. it though. That's nice. Yeah, it's so cool. Thank you. What's your least favorite song on the record? Um, you don't have to answer. That was kind of a joke. But if you want to answer, it, you can. Oh, I can answer it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that there's a song called Moon Song that's like really fucked up, and I always skip it. But I think it's just because it's like really sad, you know. Mm -hmm. But but I don't return to it very often. Gotcha. So probably that. What's the happy What's the happiest song of the record? Um. Ooh. <laughs> oh, actually, uh, it's funny because nobody's heard these except for you. But the Graceland Two song, I feel like, is happy. Mm -hmm. It's kind of about tripping yeah. MDMA, which is hap It's just a happy experience. Um, mm -hmm. So. Yeah, probably that. It's very good. It's amazing. Um, and like, I can't wait for lots of people to hear it. Thank you. What are people saying? Um, Dying to listen. This is so sweet. Uh, mm -hmm. When is it out? June 19th. Oh, also June we're in the same issue of Wonderland. Yes, uh, that's why we're down. talking to each other. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> These are ridiculous. When was the last, someone asked, when was the last time you cried? Ham oh. is the best. <laughs> oh, shit. It might have actually been watching normal people. Really? What it made you so cry? That? Um, what made me cry? You crying. Mm -hmm. Definitely made me cry. I wish Good. I could cry on demand. I've definitely tried. I can't but, cry on demand. That like that's like pure luck. No, it's really? no, it's like I definitely can't like cry just like that. It's like, like that was that was like a full day to shoot that scene and like there's lots of takes in there that like I wasn't crying and then some of them I was. Um, oh, I have a I have a question relating to that, which is like, have you ever What's the worst time you've ever like held up an entire crew of people because you couldn't do something right? Oh, that's a good question. Um, there was a scene, there's a scene in episode six, it's a small enough scene, it's a scene when Niall says um, to Connell, why don't you just move in to Marianne's house? You're pretty much living there. And like we rehearsed it before lunch and like we thought we had it. And then when we came to shooting it, I was just so far off the mark. I, and I don't know what it was. And I just felt like absolute shit. But ultimately like Len Lenny was so cool that day. He was just like, let's just take our time, figure it out. But it's, it's, um, it's stressful because like the old saying is like time is money and time is money. But like, yeah, stressful. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, when you're when everybody around you is like waiting for you to do your thing and the pressure yeah. like makes it worse and makes you Yeah. Al although do you perform well under pressure or is it like you feel like, yeah, you, I wish, like it. you wish yeah, you I... could see the way you act in your apartment when you're practicing? No. <laughs> I, do, I, I do like pressure when it's not coming from like when it's a creative pressure and it's not coming from an external source like when it's a desire to get something right rather than like feeling like we've got 10 minutes of like a sunset that we need you to like do a handstand quadruple backflip and cry and also laugh yeah that's also, yeah. yeah what um music have you been listening to in lockdown um i've been listening i've been like wanting to listen to like a lot of instrumental music i feel like mm -hmm. it just doesn't 
Although the, the have you heard the Fiona Apple record? It like fucking destroyed me. It's not like there should be just a giant trigger warning on it. Yeah. It's very emotionally just raw. Um, so that fucked me up for like a couple weeks. And then as a come down, I've been listening to like, mm-hmm. you know, I don't know. A yeah. lot of like Gaelic music made it onto my little playlist right. and grouper and stuff. Um, yeah, very, it's like emo, emo music in my house right now. What about you? I used to think emo was like associated to being a goth and I didn't know emo stood for emotional. So when people were saying that emo music was emo, I was like, that just sounds sad to me. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I, I think it's a that. movement of people with eyeliner on or whatever, but I actually think like Towns Van Zant is super emo, yeah. and, you know? But what about you? What have you been listening to? I have been listening to equally sad music. Um, I've been listening to uh, you, uh, your friends, actually, Lucy Dacus and Christian. They're really cool. Yes, hurt then, your feelings. Yeah, that's like, that's considering this time is obviously a bit nuts. It seems a bit like, uh, what's the word? Self hurting oneself during this time is weird, but um, I like sad music so there's that's kind of been on a on a loop <laughs> and, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, christian, christian um, asked me what your uh he wants to know what your workout regime has been in quarantine so that's one thing you don't have to publicize it you can just text him you know like, <laughs> you know no it's it's a lot of like drinking wine and <laughs> not eating enough food <laughs> but no that's a joke um no no, I th- like I. I'm getting a lot of like good endorphins from like running because I didn't typically do a lot of running before this, and yeah. I'm, a, I'm endorsing running. Cool, running. Yeah. What's your favorite track on uh, Stranger? <laughs> um, uh, I like I like I I feel like I have that's changed over time because playing live mm-hmm. is so fun. So like the Scott Street song is really fun to play live because it's like there's a big outro to it and I usually have a ton of people come on stage and then for one tour we would like hand the mic to someone in the audience and that was what would would it be like if they didn't know the words it it happened for sure but but then (laughs) they would like someone who did know the words would like steal it but um my favorite one was because the words are anyway don't be a stranger and somewhere Mm -hmm. we were like someone who's like crying and screaming into the microphone, like, anyway, I'll be a stranger. Yeah. And it was just like, it's, it's perfect, perfect. Right. like slightly wrong, but but yeah. passionate. You know, um, for me, like, cause I obviously had a playlist for Connell and the song, I would listen to um, your funeral before any of the episode 10 stuff, which is a testament to how sad your music is. We're like, a, we're like an endless echo, like, yeah, you I'm sad. Cry by crying. Yeah. In that yeah. episode, that's so funny. I'm saying hello to Chris Wally because he said hello. Who is she? My name's Phoebe. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody's any questions, uh, actually, I'll, I have a list of questions here. I'm gonna get them. Do you have any questions? Any questions? I'm like reading these people's questions. They're pretty unhinged. In a good way. Hello, it's Becca. Hi, Becca. What's your um, f- first question, favorite film, and second question, a popular film that you hate? Um, <laughs> my most recent favorite was uh, Portrait of a Lady on Fire. Oh, so good. So good. And, so and good. a popular film that I hate is Uncut Gems. It's like the most boring panic attack I've ever had. Really? I like that film a lot. I fucking hated it. Okay, but what about you? What's your favorite movie and least favorite movie? My favorite film... Hmm. Uh, my favorite film rec- like in recent years is Call Me By Your Name. I'm obsessed with... Mm-hmm. I think Timothy Jalamet is an amazing actor. Um, and popular film that I don't like... I kind of just like... I don't know. There's nothing that really... I don't know why I asked that question because I don't have an answer to it. <laughs> um, nothing is coming to my head. 
Okay. Well, that's what's your favorite person. soundtrack? You're what's your good favorite person soundtrack? And you just put me. You just put me out. Yeah, that was, that was my tactic. <laughs> what's What'd you your say? What's your favorite soundtrack? Ooh, um, I like all the like uh, Trent Reznor, Atticus Ross soundtrack tracks a lot. Those are fucking sweet. Mm -hmm. Um, and John Williams is close to my heart. I'm actually trying to teach myself piano in quarantine. And because mm -hmm. I never have learned and and I'm learning a lot of like Harry Potter. Uh, what, Terribly why you enough. Face? No, because I like, <laughs> that's, that's totally fine. Oh, I thought um, you were like, oh, God, so embarrassing. No, um, um, what's your biggest fear and pet hate? Like pet peeve? Is that what that yeah. means? Yeah, yeah. Or animal, like pets that you have not to jump to your like <laughs> Pets that I hate. Um, I know. Yeah, biggest fear and like pet thieves. I think my biggest fear is being annoying to people. You know, mm -hmm. like yeah. people finding my like being my actual true self and people not liking me. Um, yeah. And my pet peeve is when oh, fuck I don't know you first. What's what's your uh, biggest fear? <laughs> my bit. My biggest fear is. Death, cool. definitely. Don't. Yeah, like not not a fan. Um, and uh, pet hate would be laziness. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that's a that's a pet peeve of mine too. But it's mostly myself, my own laziness. Do you consider yourself lazy? Uh, I don't. It's hard to know what's your mm. you know, intrusive thought and what's real. But if I catch myself on my phone for like 13 hours or something. I'm like, why, why are you doing that? Um, yeah, yeah. So it's a pet peeve in myself. I yeah. am my biggest pet peeve. Yeah. I have to say hello to Padge and Ham or else they're not going to talk to me. Okay. Um, hi, Padge and Ham. Hey, Padge and Ham. Um, if anybody has any other questions. Pet peeve I'm... is girls who talk to our man. Okay, fuck off. I'm trying my hardest. <laughs> Uh, Hello, for your friend. <laughs> what'd you say? <laughs> it's just I can see my friends commenting. Basically, oh, I'm the biggest pet peeve you love. Mm -hmm. Are you excited for your album to come out? Obviously, that's a silly question. Yeah, I'm super excited. Um, I'm super. I feel like I haven't been able to relate really to uh, a lot of a lot of the like, what am I doing with my life? Because mm. I have one plan yeah. you know for the future yeah. um but i'm sure after it comes out i'll have some sort i'll go through some sort of like mourning process but what are you looking yeah. forward to about life i'm look. i'm like obviously missing work a lot i i do i, I like i like working <laughs> so yeah. i'm looking forward to going back to work i've got a good question here from Jamie Paisley, who works with Element, who is amazing, and asked you, what's your favorite? She, it's, I mean, no, I'm putting you on the spot here. What's your favorite track in the Normal People soundtrack? Oh, God. Um, this is the test to see if you actually watched it or not. <laughs> um, <sighs> fuck. What's the track that plays when Paul and Marianne are staring at each other lustfully on the train oh um uh, uh love love terror support that one yeah love that cover is fucking sick. yeah that's that's um that's aggressive yeah it's so good and also i'm answering my brother's question it's a yes from me um um i'm pretty sure it's a yes um Right, I'm going to ask you one more question. You can ask me one more question that I'm going to move on with my life. <laughs> cool. Congrats. Um, <laughs> um, if nobody's coming in with good questions. No. A lot of thirst on here. Jamie Paisley is dead. Fierke cannot borrow my shower jocks. Um, someone, I, someone has asked what my 
they've asked me to sing your my favorite song of yours but i'm not going to do that <laughs> um my favorite song of yours is definitely at the moment the last track on your newest record Thank also you. i see you is amazing but my favorite song for a long time has been georgia so really mm, um <laughs> okay my i'm going to ask you one more and then mm -hmm. you can move on with your life uh yeah which is i just had it um oh if you could play anybody ever in life who would it be like even in even like a play that doesn't exist or something just dream yeah. role dream role i've said before like off the cuff that it would be gene kelly just because i think he's slick but i'll try and come up with somebody else slick. neil also yeah. neil flynn is my favorite killer footballer but i'm just answering questions as we go my who would i like to play <laughs> Um, I'd like to do something musical. Like I'd like to play somebody like, like Elvis or Johnny Cash or somebody like iconic in that kind of era, era of music. Or like, um, that's a hard one. I'm not. Um, You'd make a sweet um, Johnny Cash. I'd watch that. Yeah, but like Joaquin Phoenix just just nailed that forever and always. Totally, but your voice, your singing voice is so low. I think it'd be sweet. Let's Thank do it. You. I'm going to commission it. Great. And really I'll low definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not really boring. low, really. Yeah. Like yeah. one shot film the totally. whole way through. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, it was great to meet you. I great love you. you. And I can't wait for people to hear your uh, new record album. Thank you. Well, thanks for talking to me. This is great. Yeah. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.